What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here, BackwaterFlyFishing.com. Thanks to everyone that's placed orders on BackwaterFlies.com, which is my online fly shop. Since the new year, it's very much appreciated. Uh, one quick thing about that, uh, just so you guys know how that works. We've been doing this for a long time. The, the flies on there are pre-tied inventory that are in Florida. I guide in Costa Rica year round. I try and keep inventory stocked. That's a pain in the butt, as you know, a lot of times things are out. But if you do see something you like on there and you place an order, um, typically everything ships out at the beginning of every week. So um, it's just me and my dude back there who handles shipping for me. So what happens if you place an order on a Tuesday or Wednesday, a lot of times it's not gonna ship out until that next Monday. So keep that in mind when you're placing orders. Um, also, feel free to hit me up. A lot of people get to me on Instagram or Facebook or even just email me saying, hey man, what's going on with this order? If it's taking a little bit longer than that to ship. But we're not Amazon, you know, and we're not competing on that level. If you do need things shipped super, super fast, just let us know and we could, we could have that taken care of. But typically, give us, you know, five to seven days before the order ships because we're just a few dudes selling flies. So. It's very much appreciated. So today we're gonna to cover some fly tying stuff. I do have some really cool fishing videos that are gonna be coming out this month, so stay tuned for those. But today we're gonna to talk about five materials that you need to know about to spice up your flies. And it really just adds a little bit more creativity and some of these things actually help the practicality and the use of the fly. So let's cover these right now. All right, so the first material I want to talk about is fluorescent bead chain eyes. Now, typically bead chain eyes came in silver, gold, or black, um, but now you got a lot of different variety you could use uh, to spice up these flies. You could put um, you know, some orange ones on the front of a chartreuse toad or some pink ones on the tip of a, a bunny fly. Even using bonefish flies, redfish flies, wherever you're using bead chain, this is a great way to accent the fly, draw little hot spots to the fly for fish to see. Um, I use the chartreuse ones, the pink ones, and the fluorescent Florida orange ones, and I've really enjoyed those. So if you haven't given that a try, go to your favorite redfish fly, go to your favorite bonefish fly, spice it up a bit using these bright colored bead chain eyes. Another product I really want to talk to you guys about, and you've seen me use this product before, are the fish heads from Spawn Fly Fish. These things are absolutely cool. You can put them on any bait fish fly, really. And what's cool about them is they give a great side profile, or even uh, from underneath, of a natural bait fish. So if you haven't used these guys, check them out. They come in tons of colors, tons of weights, tons of sizes, and they're guaranteed to spice up an articulated streamer or saltwater bait fish fly. Really, they're universal. So go check those out. Another product that's really cool are FC fibers. If you don't know what that is, that's a Forgotten Coast fibers from my dude over at Forgotten Coast Fly Company. And it's essentially like an artificial yak hair. Um, but you can create some really cool patterns. I tie a pinfish fly with this that you guys have seen. And uh, some other tarpon flies that you guys have seen as well, like the FC Executioner on the backwaterflies.com site. That's tied with the FC fibers. They have a really cool flow in the water, very much like real yak hair. And if you need a translucent bait fish fly that lands nice and soft, this is the material you're gonna need to use. Another really cool product is the Polar Fiber Streamer Brush. Um, I just did a fly tying video, I think the last one, using this to tie a bait fish fly. It's really, really cool. That's my kid. Come on in, dude. It's a really, really cool brush, but you could create really awesome bait fish flies with this. And it's just a quick and easy way to do that. We've all tied craft for minnows and things like that. And this just helps create that same style of fly. But honestly gives a lot of cool little UV flash. It's real subtle in there. But creates an easy taper on the fly. So you're not really worried about trimming or anything like that. Really just tie it in, palm it around, and boom, there you go. Another thing worth mentioning, guys, is a hook company. Everybody's out there looking for good hooks. Hey, kid, don't touch the tripod. All right, where was I? So, hooks. Kona Fishing makes some really cool hooks and they make a variety of different hooks for freshwater streamer patterns all the way into inshore salt water. I very much recommend checking those out. Super good quality. I've been using them now for about a year, I think, down here in Costa Rica for Machaca, for Wapotes, for, man, you name it. And we've been really satisfied with them. So, if you do a lot of bass fishing, streamer fishing, inshore saltwater fishing, check these hooks out. There's kind of something for everybody in there. I know you're gonna like them. All right guys, now the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is a product called Crystal Hackle. A lot of you guys have seen this. 
but this is great for bait fish flies it's great for you know palmering along the hook shank on a deceiver pattern it's also great for tons of shrimp patterns and obviously there's endless uses for these types of things anytime you're needing to palmer a material to either take up the the, the length of the hook shank add flash add even the body like we talked about in the shrimp flies this stuff is really really cool it's kind of like a type of chenille i know you'll really like it so give those products a try guys <sighs> my kids sword fighting me Give those products a try guys and be sure like this video share it hit subscribe to the youtube channel follow me instagram facebook at backwater fly fishing thank you guys for all the support stay tuned like i said for more fishing videos and please have patience with us guys on backwaterflies.com all that is very much appreciated that's what keeps this type of stuff going keeps this channel up and running and keeps us bringing you really cool content so Thank you guys again, tight lines, catch y'all later.